Uh, it's going to be hard if you haven't already gotten one, John. You know, if the Chiefs were not in the playoffs, though, hotel operators tell me this would be among their slowest times of year. Instead, for the fifth consecutive year, downtown hotels like the Hilton President, which is right next to the Power and Light District, say the people who are checking in this afternoon are the best kinds of customers. They're here to spend money at restaurants, taverns, and on transportation services. Surprisingly, the general manager at the president says that most of his guests are Chiefs fans. They're not coming here from Cincinnati. Jacksonville actually traveled pretty well. Um, I think that they is kind of new to them and we're a little excited about that this first playoff game in a long time. Um, Cincinnati, I don't know if they're traveling as much, but I, I know we'll be full of Chiefs fans for sure. Now, Kansas City's aviation department says historically, the Chiefs game against Cincinnati also is a big fly-in weekend for private planes. The city says about 400 aircraft from out of town landed at the downtown airport last year on the day of the AFC championship game. That's double the normal amount of traffic that the airport typically has at this time of year. As to who is on all these planes that are coming in, airport workers say it could be anybody from NFL officials, team owners, corporate executives, to a bunch of ordinary fans who all pool their money, pitch in, and charter their own private plane. And again, these airport workers tell me that many of these people who fly in, they too are also Chiefs fans. John.